Penny, when's the last time you were you delved directly into the whimsical world of SpongeBob SquarePants? The last time, specifically last night, Marble and I watched the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. The documentary? Yeah, the documentary about all the horrible crimes of SpongeBob SquarePants and the ways in which he got away with it until 50 years after his death when they discovered the proper pieces of evidence that really they could have discovered the whole time but it was completely up to like government incompetence that like they just didn't you know that david hasselhoff scene where he launches spongebob and patrick and then underwater patrick says mock the speed. control <laughs> yeah yeah no that scene in particular made me realize two things about myself one is that i'm gay two is that i'm into macro porn <laughs> wait <laughs> Okay, I there are okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say there are at least ten questions I have about the two facts you gave me as a whole. However, there uh -huh. are only five of them that I am allowed to ask on YouTube.com without my account being deleted. So I will ask at least one here. Are you saying uh -huh. that the SpongeBob movie was your home of sexual awakening? Eh, partially, it, it was certainly the one where I realized, hey, I might not I'm I might not stray away from dudes any longer. Huh? Yeah. That's pretty chill. Yeah. It, David Hasselhoff, something about his big, hairy bear chest, you know? Well, they do spend an entire sequence very up close and personal on, like, his hairy back and legs, and, like, they stick a knife into his, like, like specifically chiseled butt. Like, yeah, no. And he yeah, reacts they, it, to it, and he, he goes, he goes, ooh, take it easy back there, fellas. And then he does, like, a little, like, head turn smug thing. Like, what the fuck? Like, he's okay with it? Yeah. yeah. I'll... Also, this is the robot uprising. Damn. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it is May Day currently, so I would like to say unionize like these robots did. It is May Day currently, so I would like to say May Day. May Day. There's uh, robots taking over the chum bucket. Penny, you ha can't use these. You don't use these fucking channels to lie. All right. I know robots <laughs> haven't been invented yet. <laughs> But when will they be? I've been waiting for so long. As soon as we seize the means of production, Penny, I feel like that's clearly obvious. But when is that gonna happen? I want a robot. I don't know, but what I can't tell you, it's time to it's time to grip it and rip it, but fucking hang on, I can't there's a can. I'm Try trying again. to open it, but my fingernails are too small. Try again. Go for it. Fuck. What is I, I can't, Are you have you still I not can't. opened it? I'm trying do you hear this? I hear it, yeah. It That's the like cap that I'm, I'm trying to get a grip on it, but this shit is too slippery. It sounds like, like, like when, when like in a Disney Channel original movie, there's like a group of like dejected young teens, and they need to bind together and like have a scene full of like camaraderie and togetherness, and but they're like in fucking detention, and so they start like playing instruments with the various things they find around the classroom and then it breaks into like a musical number that'll play on radio disney for two weeks but like nowhere else and then people will forget about it in exactly two years until it resurfaces exactly six years and 12 months later penny penny <laughs> yeah you can shut your third eye now sweetie that's okay I, you, you don't have to i can are you asking me to though I mean, it's not the 90s anymore, so I would, I would, like, this particular scenario you've created in your mind's, your, your, your brain palace, you know, I don't think it's applicable to the current situation, but what is applicable? It's time to rip it and grip it, baby. You did it! Wow. Mm. I love it. You love to see it. You love to I... see it happen. What mm. is, now, what is that? Your bikini bottom stinks. That's, that's gross and mean. Uh-huh, that's gross. Very gross and mean for them to have said to me. What are you drinking, Chase? They didn't ask you that. That would be really weird if they did. What? Can you hear me? What are you? <laughs> no, I can hear you. I've just, I'm just chosen to ignore your request. Why? Why are you being I'm... so rude to me? What have I done to deserve it? I'm unionizing against you. God damn. Yeah. Sorry, because it's you're the CEO of Snapcube and I'm your worker. I so am I not a CEO. <laughs> I'm only a CEO if uh, CEO stands for cutie every only. <laughs> you could have you could have done better than that, Penny. <laughs> I could have. Hold on, let me try again. Uh, 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 cutie exclusive. Un <laughs> Online. 
<laughs> oh man, I didn't think of online. I'm a fucking. I'm a. I'm a fraud. So much for fixing this quietly. So we've been talking through the entire story of this game. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I care, and many people care. So I, I just want to say, this game is fucking great. We're playing this right. uh, in honor of the, well, in honor of the fact that it's a fantastic game, and I've wanted to play it on the channel for a long time, but also in honor of the SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrator remake, which this Let's Play will most certainly run past the release date of. Yeah, if Luigi's Mansion 3 is any fucking indication. It comes out that, next that, month. It comes out tomorrow. Even, even as, of like, the, no. as of the, the release date of this video. <laughs> oh my god, don't say that. It'll be so true. Um, <laughs> literally, like, even in a well-paced Let's Play, this this would take more than a month to finish, which is, like, fine. Uh, also, mm. uh, I it, it's, one thing about the re Rehydrated remake is that they're not replacing any of the voice lines, which means we'll get to hear this monstrosity again. Listen up. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful <coughs> crew member of the Crystal <coughs> Crab, you've No! Come, uh, no! Ryan Mitchum of ChongoShow.net can do a better Mr. Krabs than this guy. I just gotta say. Wow. Why wasn't he? You know, the reason he wasn't available is because he was for to record for this. Is he was too busy recording uh, Boston Become Human or whatever the fuck? <laughs> this was, yeah, Detroit Become Human, which was yeah, in that production one. for that long for sure. Um, uh -huh, it's like TF2, you know, after nine years in not, development, hopefully yeah. it will have been worth the wait. <laughs> I referenced that recently on Twitter. Did you see? No, but I'm really proud of you. I went on like so. I went on like a whole thing about how fucking creepy the Valve logo is, and then someone responded with like. You turn the valve on the guy's head and it just opens up to reveal a small Gabe Newell. And then I'm like, smaller Gabe then turns to you with a coy smile and says, Welcome to Team Fortress 2. After nine years of development, hopefully it will have been worth the wait. Thank you, Penny. I'm glad you referenced that. <laughs> You're welcome. It was, it was so fun. What was the. When were you referencing that? And like, I just lost my shit about it. There was, it was like on stream, I think. Something? Yeah, I mean, probably. I, I can't remember anything for, like, more than three days ago. Uh, but, you know, it was probably at some point I did make you laugh, probably. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> yeah. So this See? is the tutorial sequence, which is... It sure is. Unnecessary. Because um, mm -hmm. why doesn't the game know Penny's already played this game? Yeah, why doesn't the game know that? This is actually, it makes it a bad game, I think, that it doesn't Un know that. Fucking or like, unplayable. Un <laughs> this game is fucking, this game is running at 59.9 frames per second. Un like fucking play. Hey! Now, <laughs> explain your thought process about that one, because I, I think that people would really like to see like a behind the scenes look at the mind of yeah. Chase Young and his <clears throat> 69 joke. Red, if you could, um, during this part, could you put up a behind the scenes, behind the snap? That's what BTS stands for, behind the snap. Oh, shit. Hey everybody, welcome to Behind the Snap. Uh, we're gonna break down some of the most iconic jokes from the Snap Cube era. Um, which of course ended in 2021 when Penny was thrown off a bridge. <laughs> no, wait, why did that happen? No, that's a future episode. Never mind. Never mind. That's for later. Yeah, that that'll ex be explained in the, in two arcs down. Um, that that'll be explained in the Netflix original behind the snap movie adaptation. That like yeah, it'll goes be called deep it'll into be the history of Snap Cube. It's called Bandersnap. Um, <laughs> but it's multiple. T it's it's it is in a shocking case of a historical revisionism. Revisionism. It is a multiple choice documentary <laughs> where you choose the outcome. I wish every that's you know that's a cool SCP is like a history book, but it's a choose your own adventure history book. And by choosing a specific like set of circumstances, you uh, you wind up like in an alternate timeline. Holy shit! Hold on, writing this down. <laughs> Penny, you can't keep stealing my ideas. <laughs> I don't see a trademark on that baby. All right, it's a going. chase mark. It's Why CM. Would you trademark a baby, please. Keep going with your, with your mind. I mean, it happens to Truman in the Truman Show. It makes you think. Oh, fuck, um, any it did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I just think six nine is a funny number. Thanks for watching Behind the Snap. <laughs> Thanks for watching Behind the Snap, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode. Nothing like the sound mm -hmm. of your own neighborhood. 
Uh, what if you know, there's nothing what if, like the cluttered mess oh, of a collected on hub world? Ah, uh, there's nothing like this fucking stupid bullshit. I can't do the voice. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I, it's like I didn't even try. <laughs> try again. Try again. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, it's, I forgot they talk. Oh, actually, yeah. I don't need to. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got, a... got bigger fish to fry. They have all of the cast except for Clancy Brown. Where did they come from? In the it's... soft reboot, they're gonna get Markiplier to voice Plankton. <laughs> Not too far off. Yeah, no, he's he could he could get there. I bet he, he could, could do a pretty fire Plankton impression. He could get it. Okay, because you went a little bit far in the in the dialogue before you finished that, I, 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 I no, I was I, I thought he was gonna say they even bet my children, and I was like, what? I was thinking like, what the fuck does that mean? Plankton? They were my children. <laughs> they they anyway, were my so little we gotta, babies. I I'm, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to skip too much because people love this game. I love this game. Obviously, we want to like actually play the game. Look at you! Just... No, fuck! No, there was, there was 69 penny. It was 69. Your shiny things counter. Fuck penny. Stop fuck, looking at penny. Your... Why is he looking at his dick? Cause he was 69 for a second. <laughs> yeah, he said here, Chase Young, to make up for it. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna suck my God. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ter no! Not terrible this start. Early. No, it was. I mean, remember how Give early it started? Give us two Luigi's episodes Mansion? at least. It started. It started episode one, Luigi's Mansion, when Toad sucked Luigi's wiener. It, it's. It's like it's. It's. It's not even something we well, can avoid at this point. And it's look just how part of the that brand. turned out. One of the most yeah. beloved and popular series on the channel. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it really makes you think. We're here we're here to do quantity over quality, Chase. Keep keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. You need to you need to know your place, buddy. It's it's below me. <laughs> oh. You are a servant. You are a cog in my machine. You are my a cog. empire. My empire would run on just fine without you. This is evil Penny. Okay, good. Not good, real good. Penny. Why does why does yeah, evil no. Penny like? Uh, I, uh, and this is not a criticism, more of a mm. genuine inquiry. Why does evil Penny sound like that? Uh, you know that that chemical that's like the opposite of helium. Uh, delium. <laughs> delium yeah, it's no delium. delium. <laughs> yeah, she's she's been slurping on that girt. It's like ah, the main yeah. thing that flows into the, her into into her office. Is it like good in in bad timeline universe land world? No, she hates it, but it does make her more intimidating. But because she's evil, hatred is actually a good emotion, and no, bad it's things the, are no, actually it's... good. And she 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 very frequently says, from my perspective, the Jedi are evil, <laughs> and that's what happens. Penny. Are you are you implying that in the in the timeline in which Evil Penny exists, Jedi's also exist? I could be. Why would that be an issue? I mean, it's our fiction. I guess we can make that decision if we want to. We'll we'll workshop it. I, I won't I won't we'll, I won't improv lock you into into this reality, but I do want you to at least consider it. Like sleep on it at least. It wouldn't be the first time you made a character decision for me. What does that mean? Stop, stop slurping your shade juice and tell me what you mean by this. <laughs> no, There's a little thing called, uh, I fucking love milk. You know, it's just something that I completely <laughs> wait, have. Wait, no, you it's... have every reason to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little piece of my, my brand, which I is no longer under my control. Thanks to Penny and, and Ryan Mitchum. But, but, okay, well, think of it this way. I did you a favor. I gave you I... <laughs> more things in this universe to love. That thing I are, specifically Penny, being milk. <laughs> Penny, without your things. input, I already what? enjoyed drinking milk on occasion. You on, didn't change on, that. On, on you occasion. just made people think I like it more. But but I have given you such a deep, thorough passion for something that was originally but a part of the mundane. You. Why do you not accept ex accept my gifts? Exactly. No, that's exactly where <laughs> I'm coming from. Like 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 take like something like milk generally is a part of the mundane. It is a part of the day-to-day -day that we don't think about. We don't regard with any particular reverence. But you fucking love milk. Penny, how would you feel if, if like, 
fucking one of like the big pieces of your <laughs> brand was oh Penny Parker fucks carpets. How would you feel about that? Now, but like that, but that's a that's a different thing because that is not inherently benign <laughs> as enjoying a particular beverage. That is like that <coughs> implies. I Excuse mean. Me. Like, sex is good, but it's also got, like, some connotations, you know? Milk has no connotations. Milk is as pure white as the as color cum. the drink is as cum. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and we know you love cum, Chase, so why are you taking it for granted now? <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Damn. That's no, okay. Like, I just, uh, also I just wrecked to... this side mission without even, like, talking to the dude. I'm a genius. Yeah, did you deface all his paintings? Yeah, I, I essentially was just like. So oh, wait, it's, what about the big one? The big. Whoops. Oh, I'm there sorry. There was a big one you could have drawn out. I, I don't. It's I don't, okay. I don't think you could. Yeah, you destroy. can draw a mustache on him. Oh, you can. Yeah. I did not. I didn't know this. Hey, well, hey. Do it. We so we both very much know this game, which is part of why yeah. we're kind of fucking around a little bit. Not. I I know the the earlier half. Yeah, than the, that's right. Yeah. Can't yeah, no, I, I know the, the, the early half better than the latter half because yeah, I was a here. child when I played this game. Uh, and like most children, I was bad at video games. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, but, I've, uh, I've, you know. I've played the intro portion of this game like upwards of like 10 times. I've actually beaten the game probably like at most three times, but probably more like one or two. Certainly, yeah, no. Uh, but, you know, every, every, everybody's, everybody's, everybody's cool. <laughs> Damn. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> That's a, so I just decided to I just decided to end on like a positive note. That's Chase One World Young for you. I'm saying your Chase, full name a lot in this series, and I'm sorry for doxing you so heavily. I mean, I say Penny Parker all the time, so it's like That's it's true. fine. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, time to go to Jellyfish Fields. Let's actually start okay. paying attention to the game a little bit now. I mean, here's the thing about the the joy about uh, you know games that we already know pretty heavily. For example, Luigi's Mansion Number mm -hmm. One. Uh, which is what I something I knew pretty well was that it's it's more uh, uh, a petri dish for a good conversation uh, and I think that's where we really thrive is is in the banter part not so much in the how do we solve this puzzle part you know right but yeah I, I, and you know I, I I will say I do expect there to be if we talk over the game too much a little backlash in that regard because people still want to see the game obviously they come mm -hmm. they come here primarily for the commentary but like the game is still a factor and we need to like respect that to a degree but also mm -hmm. in luigi's mansion we did have the dynamic of one of us never having played the game and like not really knowing it so there was like an inherent sense of discovery and reverence that we just like don't have for this one not that we don't have reverence for this game but we don't have the discovery of it that brings i just want to i just want to palm squidward's big stupid nose i just want to hold it in my palm why Cause, i don't know i feel like it'd be nice to hold i feel like it would be tactile the tactile feeling of you know like coming at his nose from like the bottom up and just like like groping it a little the tactile feeling of squidward's nose now now would you the tactile and universal desire to palm squidward's nose episode title would you rather <laughs> grab it with the bandages you um, give it I like mean, a little bit more depth a little bit more feature i would want to start with the bandages on but then as like he starts moaning i would like to take them off <laughs> <Son! laughs> Wait, <laughs> now no. people are talking about moaning. <laughs> <laughs> this is all under in in the scenario that we're like, you know, this is you, you know, Scooter and I have been dating for a couple weeks, you know. Wait, it's not just like I. Uh, I completely what? spaced out for a second. I'm sorry. What did you say? Squidward and I have been dating for a couple well, weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw you announce that. Hey, congratulations. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, love is hard to find. <laughs> love is hard to find. But you know what? God finds a way. Uh, praise be his name. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's always good to love a squid man. It's always good to love a squid man. He's got three dicks. Ball Never, up here in excruciating pain. With my uh, boyfriend Chase, Squidward, my boyfriend who I love very much. Ch SpongeBob, how are you talking like that, dude? How did he do that? That's not his voice. I watched Camp Laszlo last night, and I forgot that half the characters in that cast are voiced by Tom Kenny. Yeah, half. Well, half the characters in any cast are voiced by Tom Kenny. 
Yeah, no. Y y every animation has Tom Kenny in it, no matter what. Every animation has Tom Kenny. And here's the thing is that he's never scheduled. I thought that said this, this is God. This I is God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, go back over to the side. Go back over to the this side. This is God, coward. This is God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, Tom Kenny is never scheduled to be in anything. He's always just kind of implied. He, show, he shows up and everybody's like, well, it's Tom Kenny. We can't not give him a part. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, like it's, it's actually offensive to, I think, the state of animation in general to, to have uh -huh. and to casting. the and the, the federal state as yeah, well yeah 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 so so there's actually a there's actually a like a like a studio mandate every animation studio has a studio mandate to uh to the schedule that leaves one day of uh cast recording open blank not scheduled mm. but but specifically not scheduled for any particular member of the cast but still scheduled to be a recording session and it has become yeah. industry <laughs> shorthand for the tom kenny day because on mm -hmm. that day, Tom Kenny walks in. They call it K-Day, or TK-Day. They call it TK-Day. Uh, Tom mm -hmm. Kenny walks in, and Yeah, if, if, you're, a, if, you're, a, if you're a good uh, animation exec, and you, if you leave the, your recording booth open, and you go to sleep, uh, if you, when you wake up, all of Tom Kenny's voice lines will be recorded. Right, right, right. And if he, if he shows up at the studio to record his lines, and you act surprised to see him there, like you didn't expect him to be there, your show is not advertised on Netflix, and it gets canceled after one season. That's what happened to Tuca and Birdie. And, yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. really unfortunate because a lot of creators um, coming into the animation industry for the first time. Nobody tells them. Yeah, yeah, nobody tells them because you learn that shit at CalArts, and that's actually what people refer to when they talk about the CalArts style. It's not drawing style. It is the pretense that Tom Kenny, the, the knowledge of the pretense of Tom Kenny being a part of your voice cast is the CalArts yeah, style. No, the the CalArts style is is it's it's like uh, learning to observe a holiday which you didn't yeah. know existed. Yeah, and if you like, if you come from like, like a background of like poverty or just really any sort of hardship, and you have not had the luxury to go to CalArts and like learn all of these like trade secrets, um, mm -hmm. and you like just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and like just fucking make your way in the industry off of just like pure raw talent, you're still gonna be fucked over because you haven't learned. Tom Kenny is gonna be there. Yeah, if you if you don't basically if you don't know about TK Day in the industry, you're fucked. You're fucked. It's you're it's fucked. as simple as that. It is like you, if you yeah. unless you're like a, you know like a storyboard artist or whatever. Well, I mean even then you have to factor in the Tom Kenny character, but like it, that could just be any like background character who you know you don't know the voice right. you don't know the voice actors right. all the time. So it just it's just something to keep in mind. So like if you're if you're going into the animation industry, I know I know Alfred is and he he knows about this already. Right, I'm right, sure. right, right, right. Yeah. But uh, if you're going into the animation industry or you want to go into the animation industry, always, always, always ask like when this the studio has scheduled TK Day because it is always scheduled. There's always yeah. a day left open. And I'm actually in I actually feel really fortunate to have like a platform that has led me to uh, you know have have you know, like a few mutual uh, connections, even just like friendly acquaintance level with uh, people in the yeah. anima in the animation industry, so where I can mm. like help people learn about this stuff ahead of time because yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah. To, Go into your show not knowing about TK Day, and then whoops. I actually had a friend taken out by a TK Death Squad um, because really? he wasn't observing T. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's um it's it's really unfortunate, but like ultimately he should have known because he was in the industry. Yeah, like, yeah. It, he it, was, if he, he didn't, was, it, he was in the industry, if, and he yeah, yeah, yeah. The unfortunate thing is that he went to CalArts. He told me that he skimmed over textbooks while he no, was still with us. No, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that in CalArts. That, that's cause, the thing. Because it's, like, it's not like there's like a TK Day chapter, you know? It's not It's not like they... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... It just a, it's kind like of like the, permeates the whole curriculum. It, it's one of those, you know, this you know this book contains everything you don't learn at Harvard Business School, you know? It, it's one of those situations where it's like... It's not taught, but it's it's learned. Right, right, exactly. It's 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 learned, and if it's not learned, it's punished. Yes, as 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 yeah. he was. God rest his soul. But God like, rest you know, his soul. Yeah. God won't because he disrespected TK. Anyway, <laughs> cool lore. <laughs> There's. I was I was leading into another bit as a part of that. I cannot remember the life of me what it was because that just went into a fucking whole direction oh it was gonna be it was gonna, i was gonna say something like if tom if tom kenny walks in on tk day and decides he doesn't want to just voice any random character 
he looks at your cast lineup, and if he sees a character he likes, he puts on a pair of sunglasses, points at it with his left index finger, and says, that one. And then you have to give him that character. Like, <laughs> And then the person slated to play that character fades out of existence. That's what happened. That's what actually happened to, to Jones McMichael, who originally yeah. was casted to play SpongeBob. But yeah, no, it's it's but called the Tom TK Kitty. Reaping. Tom Kitty it's came the in most on TK Day and said that one, and then Jones was like, "Wait, what do you mean? What no, do you mean? What do no. you? What do you I mean? have a family. You can just have it. No, no." And then he was gone. Ah. <laughs> and history was made. And the echo was heard throughout the universe. <laughs> And the, the echo is still reverberating throughout the animation industry as it happens. Nobody knows where he comes from. I'm scared of Tom Kenny. <laughs> Me too. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm so glad I don't work in the animation industry. <laughs> the, yeah, the prospect of TK Day has specifically led me to, uh, to, to guarantee my future as a continued YouTuber. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely, because, you know, he's never, hopefully, you know, Jack Black did, but, you know, there's no JB day. That would be fucking ridiculous. Right. Um, and it's, like, know, really but, close to BJ day, and, like, nobody wants that. Yeah, no, nobody wants to think about, well, some people want to think about Jack Black while sucking wiener, but, you know, that, that's, their, that's their decision. That's, yeah, that's the whole discussion. Um, okay.